All right, now let's look at some open-ended questions. Okay, I have diagram one showing the bottom view of a ring magnet. And diagram two shows the ring magnet being lowered onto a pile of steel nails. So guys, um, when I lower the ring magnet, is it going to attract um, the same number of, of steel nails across X, Y, and Z, or is it different? So basically, the question to ask here right, is that, uh, does position X, Y, and Z, do they have the same magnetic strength, or do they have different magnetic strength? Okay, guys, uh, I think seeing is believing. I have a ring magnet with me. I have a power of steel nails. We are going to do this experiment together. Okay, I'm going to lower it, and then you will see for yourself. Okay, can you see that uh, it attracts a lot of uh, steel nails? And if you can see, right, the distribution of the steel nails, they are quite evenly distributed. So ev evenly distributed means that, okay, each part or each position on the, on the face, right, of this ring magnet, they attracted the same number of steel nails and they have the same uh, magnetic strength. Okay, please take note. Guys, with that, let me just explain a little bit on ring, mag on ring magnets, okay? It is slightly different from bar magnets because uh, the location or the position of the poles are different, okay? If I draw for you a cylinder, okay, guys, cylinder uh, representing the, the ring magnet, okay? I have a top face and a bottom face. Let me just shade out the top face and also the bottom face. Guys, the two faces, right, on top and below, they are actually the poles. Okay, let me check. Am I blocking? <laughs> These are the poles. So they have the strongest magnetic strength. So which part is equivalent to the center of a bar magnet where the magnetic strength is the weakest? It's the side. So if you look at this side, okay, this is equivalent to the center and is the weakest in magnetic strength. Okay, get, get no, uh, you understand this part, right? So if I can show you using a ring magnet, so this is the top face and the bottom face, so these are the poles, and this is the side, so this is equivalent to the center of a bar magnet where the magnetic strength is weaker, okay? Now, um, what can be observed about the number of steel nails attracted to the bottom of the magnets at position X, Y, and Z? As, uh, if you look at this, right, can you see that the the attracted iron nails, they are evenly spread out across the face. Okay, so we can say that there would be the same number of steel nails attracted at position X, Y, and Z. 